Congratulations, Hawkeyes, and welcome to the University of Iowa's 2021 Spring Commencement. Obviously, we're recognizing your commencement in a unique way, but even though our entire celebration is virtual, our pride in your accomplishments remains as strong and bright as at any Iowa commencement. In fact, you're a very special class of Iowa graduates, having finished your studies during a global pandemic unprecedented in our lifetime. Throughout it, you showed commitment and resilience in completing your degrees, and you set a great example for our entire campus. As always, we stand together together as Hawkeyes with strength, purpose, and pride. Today, many of you are gathering either in person or virtually with your loved ones. And any commencement is also a recognition of a team effort. So today, we also thank and recognize the family members, friends, teachers, mentors, and so many others who have added their support and their love to get you here to where you are today. I'd like to just take a moment and have you reflect on all the help that they have provided. Because I want you later in your life to think back on this moment and think back on all those loved ones who got you here. Pay it back. In the future, remember all the support they gave you and return the favor to some other person who needs it in their lives. Soon you will be moving on to new phases of your own lives, whether it be professional or personal or community and maybe even educational. But know that you've been a very central part of our community. You've added your excellence to this entire university while studying here, and you've contributed to our campus and larger community in so many ways. And looking forward, we are grateful that your future accomplishments will always be part of our proud Iowa legacy. We know that you will represent yourself, your university, and your profession with honor and integrity. And we know that you will make people's lives so much better through your talent, your compassion, and your newly minted knowledge and skills. Even though the years ahead promise major changes for you, please know that the University of Iowa will always be here and welcoming for you to come back to our campus. As alumni, you will always be part of who we are, who we have been, and who we will become. Once again, congratulations, good luck, and best wishes for great success in the wonderful years ahead of you. We are very, very proud of you. And remember, as we like to say around here, once a Hawkeye, always a Hawkeye. Go Hawks. Welcome graduating students, family, and friends. I am honored to join President Harold in bringing you greetings and heartfelt congratulations from the University of Iowa on this very special occasion. There is no question this is a very different graduation day than the one you have probably imagined many times over the years. But even though we're at a distance from each other, you can be sure that today you are surrounded by the joy and the very best wishes of your peers, family, and friends, as well as the many faculty and staff who have been your teachers, coaches, and mentors, and who are all so very proud of you. It's been a real privilege to work with you and to watch what you have achieved along the way. As proud as your family and friends are at this moment, you should know that this is also one of the proudest moments in the life of your college and the University of Iowa. This is what we work so hard for, to see our students achieve their goals. Even better is knowing how very well prepared you are to transition into the next stage of your professional or academic life, wherever your path may take you. You've worked with excellent faculty and mentors, received the highest quality education, and met rigorous academic standards. You built powerful knowledge and skills while demonstrating the talent and drive it takes to succeed as a student at Iowa. As if that weren't enough, this graduating class has faced unprecedented challenges that tested your determination and your resilience, and you came through it with flying colors. When you put all of those qualities and experiences together, knowing that you are going to be putting those strengths into the service of your professions and your communities, it's exciting to think about what a difference you will make. You will be innovators in a time of change, leaders in your field, and champions of social justice. You will continue to learn and discover and create. You'll be a positive force in the lives of others. And through it all, you will be carrying on the proud tradition of the Hawkeyes that came before you. I know you will continue to make us proud, just as you have always been proud to have graduated from this great university. The University of Iowa community joins me in wishing you the very best success. 
Welcome to the virtual spring 2021 College of Education undergraduate commencement and teacher education program recognition celebration. I am Dan Clay, Dean in the College of Education. I want to extend an especially warm welcome to the graduating students and the families of our graduates. We are pleased that you have joined us to help celebrate the important milestone accomplishment of the teacher candidates graduating today. We are most privileged and grateful to have been a part of their lives for the past few years. The entire university community shares in your pride and in your happiness on this very special day. I would like to take a moment to recognize all our faculty and staff who have contributed in so many ways to our students' success through teaching, academic advising, supervising field experiences, and other services through these teacher candidates journey in the college. Thank you for all you have done. Graduates, this weekend you will leave the College of Education and start new roles in the profession of education. Being a teacher is a tremendous privilege, but it is also a very big responsibility. Sometimes the going gets tough. Maybe some of you even struggled at some point, thought that you weren't going to make it, thought about quitting. There will be kids in your classrooms that feel the same way. They'll want to quit. They'll want to be looking up to you just as you looked up to others around you to help them through these tough times. When you see those kids struggle, remember. Remember what it took for you to see through your struggles and find yourself at this place today. Be to those kids what those around you were to you. You'll do that for those kids in your classroom because you care. You will do that because that's what Hawkeye teachers do. You have our support, our confidence, and our admiration. We're very proud of all of you and all of what you've accomplished. We have big expectations of you, and may the force be with you. I look forward, as you do, to all the things that lie ahead. Thank you for being a part of our Hawkeye family, and we hope you'll stay a part of our Hawkeye family. And remember, once a Hawkeye, always a Hawkeye. Congratulations and best wishes to each of you. Go Hawks. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Emily Yeomans. Emily grew up in Crystal Lake, Illinois, and began her time at the University of Iowa in fall of 2017. Emily is graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in mathematics, a Bachelor of Arts degree in mathematics education, and a minor in computer science. During her time at the University of Iowa, Emily enjoyed learning from everyone she encountered. From her work serving as a resident assistant for the Women in Science and Engineering Living Learning Community, to leading as a volunteer in Iowa City High School's Iowa Jobs for America's Graduates program. Emily enjoyed applying her learnings from the College of Education, such as Dr. Languth's ingenious RPM strategy, to equip and empower campus and community members. Emily noted that this is what she will treasure most from her time at the University of Iowa, the invaluable opportunities she has had and the people that she has met. Emily is grateful to her students, her classmates, and the University of Iowa faculty who challenged her and supported her to reach outside her comfort zone in her studies and in her other experiences so that she can better support and challenge her future students. Emily is also grateful for their influence, which has shaped her into the educator she is today, a lifelong learner who cares for and respects her students. Wow, thank you, Dean Clay, for the kind introduction. And thank you all for the opportunity to speak with you today. Thank you families, professors, administrators, teachers, students, and those in our communities for supporting and challenging each of us who is graduating today. We could not have become who we are today without your questions and listening ears. New graduates, congratulations on this achievement. We are now no longer teacher candidates, but professional educators. And as new professional educators, we perhaps know best that we are still far from our full potential. So for the sake of learning, for ourselves and for our students, it is important that we continue to ask questions and actively listen to others. For those of you who know me, you know that I love to ask questions, which is hard to do in a speech unless it's rhetorical. So for now, I'll share a story from the first day of my student teaching experience when I asked two different questions and received two different responses. I approached a student and after introducing ourselves, I asked what he was thinking about the system of equations in front of him. And after a minute or so passed, 
I realized that this was probably enough wait time and that I should take a different approach. This is when I asked him a question about himself. What do you like to do? He quickly started telling me about the sports he plays and what is challenging about them. I listened. I heard of the troubles that were going on with the baseball team, with family at home, with life beyond the classroom. And this moment of asking, who are you? Rather than what do you know, began a relationship of care and respect. This empowered us to engage in mathematics by connecting his experiences with baseball to this system of equations. This moment, the one where his eyes lit up, seeming to say, I can make sense of mathematics because it relates to me. This was a moment on that first day of student teaching that I saw the impact of building rapport with our students. So with this story, I'm reminded of the incredibly important duty we have as teachers to not only teach content, but to actively listen. Learning from and about our students, colleagues, and community members, those with different experiences and perspectives, empowers us to advocate for each student and their families, teach kindness and grace, and remain lifelong learners. May we be educators who use our learnings from the University of Iowa to empower our students to advocate for themselves and others, to wield kindness and grace, and to develop into lifelong learners. Graduates, the University of Iowa College of Education, class of spring 2021, congratulations on this achievement. Yet please do not think that you have arrived. There is always more to learn. Keep learning about and from others and the world in which we have the privilege of living in. Thank you. Greetings, my name is Amanda Tyne and I'm Associate Dean for Faculty and Academic Affairs in the College of Education. Each year, our students nominate a faculty member they feel made a significant impact on their learning to share an address with us. It's my honor and pleasure to introduce this year's faculty speaker, our Associate Dean for Teacher Education and, and Student Services, Dr. Nancy Languth. As a first-generation college student, Dr. Languth earned an undergraduate degree in elementary education with an exceptional learner emphasis from Iowa State University. Dr. Languth taught science and reading to middle-level students in the Lenox Community School District and completed a master's degree in teaching from Northwest Missouri State University. She earned a PhD from the University of Iowa in 1996, where she focused on curriculum and instruction, science education, and school counseling. Following her graduation, Dr. Languth taught human relations and provided on-site supervision for student teachers at Cornell College. Dr. Languth joined the College of Education at the University of Iowa in 1997 and has been a valued and admired member of our community for the past 24 years. Today, Dr. Languth holds the rank of clinical professor and has served for the past six years as Associate Dean for Teacher Education and Student Services. In her role as Associate Dean, Dr. Languth provides leadership and oversight for the teacher education program, as well as for the services associated with the College of Education's recruitment, admissions, advising, field experiences, program completion exams, and state licensure. In her role as a faculty member, Dr. Languth has been involved in facilitating and monitoring student teaching placements across the United States and internationally, teaching orientation to secondary education, middle school curriculum and methods, secondary education classroom management, and most recently, teaching as a human endeavor in the Education Studies and Human Relations major. Whether in the classroom or in her administrative role, Dr. Languth remains laser focused on student success and the important role teachers and those in helping professions play in setting the stage for the success of their students and clients. As her colleague, I see daily the vital role Dr. Languth plays in making the College of Education a place where students are valued, supported, and challenged. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Nancy Languth. Greetings, graduates, family and friends of our Spring 21 graduates, and College of Education colleagues who join me today in celebrating the noteworthy accomplishment of these graduates. The last time I had the honor of providing remarks on behalf of the faculty for a program completion celebration was in May 2005. Let's just say much has happened over those 16 years. For one thing, at that point in time, many of you graduates may have just been finishing up one of your elementary school years on that May evening when I was speaking to our program completers in the grand ballroom of the IMU. 
and just look at you now, all set to graduate with a degree or two from the University of Iowa. At that time, the College of Education was not conferring the degree for our teacher education program completers, which the college now is in the position to do. Whether that is an elementary education, one of our secondary education majors, or for the first time this spring, for the education studies and human relations major. This is when you need to take a moment to glance at the participant number on your device. The number of people online joining and celebrating your accomplishments and your spring 2021 commencement. Knowing that they are here to celebrate you and not to hear my remarks, what's a faculty speaker to do? Well, because we are all here to celebrate you, my part will be that of a cheer captain to help everyone know why you, the spring 2021 graduates of the University of Iowa College of Education are especially worthy of being celebrated for your accomplishments. Typically, this time of year, we have Elgar's pomp and circumstance March number one in our heads. For this moment in time, however, I'd like to replace pomp and circumstance with a different earworm the Romantics 1979 single, What I Like About You. What do you say we reframe it to what we admire about you? What we admire about you? You have navigated uncertainty and completed goals while doing so. Trust me, I know you encountered a few detours on your path to this day, including a few unexpected turns I communicated to you via email last spring. Not only did you adjust to the jarring disruptions that came with the pandemic at the university, in your families, in your social lives, you adapted while navigating the completion of a degree program. That is noteworthy and to be celebrated. Your ability to navigate uncertainty and complete goals while doing so will serve you and those you serve well. Reflections on where we've been, what we've been through, and what we will take with us, and what we've learned have only just begun. And we're finding that the pandemic not only has revealed what we can accomplish, it also has brought to the forefront that which we truly must focus on. I've absolutely no doubt that each of you will be helping lead us in that work. And knowing that is something else we admire about you. I'm not sure what the graduates who nominated me for this opportunity to share a few comments had in mind, but I'm pretty sure that if they had me in class, which probably about half of you have, it was not a content checkpoint they were hoping for. When asked why I refer to such formative assessments as content checkpoints rather than tests, I always reply, because the real test on the content of our study comes when you launch your career and whatever that might bring. With this being commencement, you're on the cusp of being there. So allow me to close with three pointers that I believe will serve you well. Remain a learner, a lifelong learner. Knowing that being the learner requires a certain amount of vulnerability, be brave and believe in yourself. Whatever that means for you, you know, and you will know when your bravery is being called upon. And finally, be kind. Show grace. Know your students, clients, colleagues, so you can appropriately balance your flexibility and accountability measures to best meet their needs. I'm excited about the future because of what each of you brings to the world. Just think about what you've accomplished just over the past year. You've definitely remained a learner. You've completed coursework delivered in new formats. You've been brave in learning how to plan for virtual, hybrid, in-person instruction. You've believed in yourself and just look at what you've accomplished. And I know you've been kind in showing grace to your school hosts, students, colleagues, and College of Education faculty and staff throughout 
our shared pandemic experience. So to recap for the upcoming test, and there will be a test, many of them, in fact, and the dates for those tests won't be on a syllabus, but when they come, keep learning. And at times that might be scary or intimidating. So be brave and believe in yourself, whatever that needs to be for you in that moment. And through it all, continue to strive to be kind to others and to yourself. Congratulations to each of you, knowing that we wish you only the best as you complete this significant milestone in your life journey. A life journey that will have great positive impact in this world we share. That's what we admire about you. Please remain in touch. And while you may open your communication with, you probably don't remember me, know that we will. The College of Education is approved to offer Bachelor of Arts majors in elementary education, art education, English education, mathematics education, music education, science education, social studies education, world language education, and education studies in human relations. The candidates, having completed all of the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Arts, are recommended by the faculty of the College of Education for the conferring of this degree. On recommendation of the faculty of the College of Education and the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, I confer on each of you the degree of Bachelor of Arts as qualified and designated. Congratulations. I now address the University of Iowa candidates for licensure to teach elementary and secondary education in the state of Iowa. These candidates, as an integral part of their university experience, have completed professional studies in the field of education. The state of Iowa Department of Education recognizes the professional goals of these scholars and has empowered the University of Iowa to recommend these individuals for the teaching licensure appropriate to their program of study. The University of Iowa cooperates with the Iowa Department of Education in preparing students who will teach in elementary and secondary schools in our state across the nation and around the world. The University of Iowa takes great pride in fulfilling its charter mission to educate outstanding teachers. To our students who have chosen to enter the noble profession of teaching and who have met the requirements set by the College of Education and the State of Iowa, I recommend you on behalf of the University of Iowa to the Department of Education for licensure as elementary or secondary teachers. My colleagues and I extend our heartiest congratulations. Well done. We are honored to join with you in celebrating the wonderful accomplishment of each of our graduates who has completed their program. At this time, the elementary education program completers, secondary education program completers, and education studies and human relations program completers will receive a formal and virtual recognition. Catherine Grace Barbconnect. Raina Beth Bernstein. Amy Rosalyn Bettman. Emily Braun. Madison Brenner with highest distinction. Lexi Brown. Amanda Lynn Burton. Emma Joan Corkery with highest distinction. Ryan Cordham. Cameron Corey. Allison Rose Courtney. Abigail Deline Craig. Marissa Cruz. Catherine Anna Dayton with highest distinction. Emily Dvorak, Abigail Ann Fleming, Olivia Jane Garcia, Jillian Ann Geyer, Emily Good, Lindsay Marie Graham, Jordan Ray Harris, Catherine Ann 
Hendricks, Mackenzie Grace Hill, Nicolette Ann Hoysek, Celia Claire Hunter, Layton Houston, Elizabeth Grace Johnson with highest distinction, Rebecca Logan Kendi with highest distinction, Melanie Kopadich, Maggie Krizan, Addison Fisher Krieger, Aaron Lang with highest distinction, Michaela Marie Larson, Rebecca Elizabeth Levy with distinction, Isabella Grace Logan, Reagan James Maple, Anna McTarnagen, Sabrina Munoz, Courtney Lee Murray, Jordan Elizabeth Nelson, Molly Knoll, Emma Overton, Jade Peterson, Madison Renfro, Sydney Elizabeth Richard, Leandra Marie Reese, Allie Morgan Ripes, Kara Rocky, Elizabeth Ann Salmon, Megan Marie Schneblin with University Honors with highest distinction. Abby Joe Schooley. Riley Shay Sinnott. Avery Ann Rose Swayze. Emma T. with distinction. Anne Marie Turback. Allie Vanneman with high distinction. Emily Rose Voss, Allison Michelle Wellman, Hannah Nicole Whitworth, McKenna Valoy Woods, Megan Rose Young, Alexandra Lauren Seamer with highest distinction, Rebecca Ann Zillig with high distinction. Chloe Elise Zwern. Hannah Emily Zwern. Isabella Brewer. Alyssa Catherine Fries. Jocelyn Marie Hagener with high distinction. Eric Yunchul Yang. Bracia Annalise Davis with high distinction. Callie Marie Hauerwas. Katie Hedegaard. Shalani Justy. Bridget Marie Jowers. Addison Catherine Martin. Maria N. Pearson. Johanna Jean Skinner with high distinction. Quincy Springer. Lincoln Onan. Sean Andrew Ayers with distinction. Cole Allen Birkenpass. Jennifer Danger. Mariah Justine Griffin. Caroline Grace Kilray, Carly Leva, Katie Rigg, Emily Pauline Yeomans with highest distinction, Matthew Hayes, Brian Patrick Mulrooney, 
Matthew Marlowe Nicholson Macy C. Schmidt Daniel Michael Thompson with high distinction Ryan John Benson Camille Hoffy Chalkley Caleb Cork Michael Kistler Emily Ann Kriegel Lindsay Rose Maston Robert Van Orden Gable Verscor Haley Murphy Burton Catherine Nicole DiRaimondo Maureen Patricia Grady Casey Halligan Sam Heddle with high distinction Zihui Cho Gianna Lindsay Marshall Max Lipnick Megan Elizabeth Legeld Claire Olivia O'Brien On behalf of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, let me give my heartfelt congratulations to everyone graduating today. Today is a day for celebration, and we celebrate this moment of achievement that each of you has reached today. The past year has been one like none that any of us have experienced. The pandemic has changed so many things about the way we live our lives. This goes for pursuing higher education as well. It has made things far more challenging for you as you completed your studies, but you have persevered through unprecedented circumstances to achieve your goal of receiving your degree. Commencement is when we fulfill the most crucial mission of higher education, graduating talented people like you who will go on to make a positive impact on our society. Though today's commencement ceremony is not a traditional format, and not what you were expecting when your college career started. This in no way takes away from the tremendous accomplishment of graduating. The common theme of all commencement ceremonies is that we celebrate the value of education and your achievement. As you embark on an exciting new chapter of your life and the many successes that lie ahead of you, take a moment to reflect that you are all now graduates of the University of Iowa one of the great public universities in our country. You should be proud of the people that help support you and help get you to this significant moment as a mom and someone who supported her children and others during their college journey. I can say that they are extremely proud of you. Receiving a degree is one of life's truly great moments. Once again, congratulations to you all. The Board of Regents State of Iowa is very pleased and proud to call you alumni of the University of Iowa. Congratulations, Sydney! We are so proud of you! <laughs> You're gonna be the best teacher ever! Go on! Woo! Congratulations, Sydney! Woo! Woo! Happy graduation! Happy graduation! Congratulations, yay! yay. I'm so, so excited that you to become a physical teacher! Congratulations, Lexi! We love you! Go Hawks! Woo! Megan, I'm so very proud of you. Congratulations on this big day. I know you're gonna do amazing things. And dad is very happy you're no longer on the payroll. Love you. Congratulations, Congratulations Alyssa. Alyssa. You're a fourth and final Hawkeye. We couldn't be more proud. We love you. Love you. Congratulations, Cam. We are so proud of you. Me and the boys are proud of you too. Congrats, hey, hey. Aaron! Congrats, Woo! Aaron! Way to go! Way to go! Woohoo! Hey, Rye, congratulations. We're so proud of you. Never been prouder of anybody in my life. And I got Sunny in my lap. She's proud, too. We love you. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you. See you soon. Go, Hawks! Congratulations, Rye. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. Love you. Love you. Go, Hawks! Hi Caroline, it's mom. I just wanted to record a short message for you and tell you 
How incredibly proud we are of you in graduating from the University of Iowa. You so deserve all good things to happen. You will get an awesome job and make a difference in so many kids' lives for many years to come. Enjoy and congratulations. We love you. Congratulations, Leah, on graduating from the University of Iowa. We are so proud of you. You'll make an awesome teacher. Congratulations, Becca Kendi, on your graduation from the University of Iowa College of Education with highest distinction. Way to go, Beck. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, Katie. We're so proud of you. On Iowa. Go Hawks! Hey, the Who Hank. Congratulations. You made it out of Iowa. The whole family, including Barry here, are so proud. On Iowa. Go Hawks! Congratulations, Bracia Mommy. You did it. Congratulations, Bracia. You'll be the best teacher ever. We, we love, love you. you. Good job, hey, Allie. Welcome to the real world. Congratulations. We, we love, love you. you. Uh, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Love you. Congratulations, sister. Great job. Congratulations, princess. We, we love you. you. I'm so proud of you, Matthew, for all of your accomplishments. Most of all, though, I am proud of the person that you are. I love you. Congratulations. Congrats, Manny. Congratulations, Congratulations Lindsay. Lindsay. 2021, go Hawks! Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job, girl. We love you. We're proud of you, baby. Hi, Matt. Congratulations on graduating. I just wanted to tell you that we are proud of you, that we love you, and good luck in grad school. Congratulations, Madison Brenner. Your mom and I are so proud of you. We can't wait to see what your next dream will bring. Go Hawks! Woohoo! Hey Maddie, congratulations on graduating. Big adventures await. Super excited for you. Don't forget the treats. Apologies in advance if you can't understand the accent. Uh, Bella, I just want to say you're amazing and I'm always proud of what you do. To our beautiful daughter, Sabrina Munoz, College of Ed, Class of 2021. We're loving pride today and always. Congratulations. Congratulations. We love, love you, baby girl. girl. Good job, Brenda! Happy graduation, Courtney. A very proud moment for you, us parents, and our entire family. You're going to make an amazing teacher. You're loved more than you know. God bless you. Daniel, congratulations on your graduation. We are so proud of you. We're wishing you the best luck in your career and many blessings. We love you. Hi, Elizabeth. I am so proud to be your big sister, and I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished in your last four years at Iowa. I can't wait to see what you do next. Love you so much. Bridget Jores, you're going to make a great English teacher. Giddy up, Bridget. You've got the enthusiasm and ingenuity to make it great. Congratulations. Hey, Amy, we are so proud of your accomplishments. Can't wait to celebrate. You're awesome, and we love you. Congratulations. The fact that we are both College of Education grads fills me with a special pride to be your aunt and fellow Hawkeye. Congratulations, Bridget, and love you. Congratulations, Matthew. I'm so proud of how far you've come. Can't wait to see what you do next. We love, love you, Matthew. Hey, Auntie Elizabeth. Congratulations on your graduation. Ooh. We're so proud of you. Ooh. Love you. Elizabeth Grace Johnson. From preemie to college graduate. We're so very proud of you. Congratulations. Woohoo! Congratulations, Maddie Jo. I'm so proud of you and all of your accomplishments, and you're going to be the best teacher ever. Love you. Congratulations, Maria. We love you. Congratulations, Congratulations, Matthew. Matthew. Congratulations on graduating, and we hope you lead a good life outside of college and visit soon. We are very proud of you, very excited for you, excited for 
um, you to start your next adventure and um, see where it takes you. We love you very much. Can't wait to see you. Mwah. I miss you. Bye. We miss you.